Hey guys, it's Ashley your Norwex Independent Consultant and once again I'm coming to you from my deck outside with my beach hat on ready to go talk about all about the mop and Norwex summer hacks. So the mop is by far probably the most coveted and the favorite product of all of Norwex. It is amazing, let me tell you. So this is all of the different mop pads that can come with your mop and I just wanted to talk a little bit about them. So first ones first the wet mop pad this one right here is going to tell you damp and wet all of them have the tag all of them have backlock so they're going to tell you what they are and that they have backlock technology remember backlock is that antimicrobial silver that is woven within the microfiber that helps itself purify so these don't have to be a one-time use uh, product so the wet one is meant to be used wet it's going to mop your floor it's going to um, mop your garage floor. It's going to mop your camper floor, your bathroom floor, your condo at the lake floor, all those different things it's going to mop. Um, the next one is the dry attachment. So the dry attachment is very plush. It's going to be very similar to your um, dust mitt. It's meant to attract particles. So this is gonna get a little bit of static built up when you're using it on your mop, and it's gonna help track lint, hair, food crumbs, um, cobwebs, if you're cleaning out you know, a lake house that you haven't been to in a while. So this is gonna be the one you use dry. The next one is the window cloth. This is perfect for that vacation lake house where you've got windows way up high and you have to get the ladder out. No more do you have to get your ladder out. You can use the window cloth. You can get this a little bit damp, put it on your mop, hoist that mop way up there and you don't have to get your ladder out and climb up on top of it to help clean windows. Or mirrors, for instance, if you've got mirrors that are really tall and big. This is your tile mop pad. Currently, this is actually on warehouse sale. We're not really sure why. Maybe the colors are gonna change. Maybe they're getting ready to change it. Maybe they're just excited and want everybody to have a um, tile mop pad. I love this one. I actually use this one more than I do the wet mop pad because the teal part is just like your wet mop pad. Then it's got this chevron pattern of the little scrubbies meant to help get between your tiles to help with that grout cleaning. But it works really, really good on my hardwood floors in the kitchen as well because sometimes you've got that stickiness from food that got slopped down that this helps scrub off. So this is your tile mop pad. And last but not least, the last one is your chenille one. This is exactly like the chenille hand towel, exactly like the Enviro wand. It's got lots of little fingers, lots of places. I love to use this one in my kitchen because it's great at collecting crumbs. I love to use this one in the bathroom because let's be real, I shed and it helps attract the hair to it. All of these can easily be laundered. You can toss them into your washing machine with the rest of your microfibers, but remember they have backlock, so you don't have to wash them after every use. In order to clean them, you can just grab your rubber brush, go right down it. It's gonna attach itself. These silicone bristles are gonna attach itself right to that, getting that hair, food, all that, those particles out of the microfiber. So let's talk about the mop itself. Get one of these here. It's got a couple of special features. The first is the ball here. This is meant to help get scuff marks off of baseboards, off of floors, from shoes, from toys, whatever it is that you've got going there. You've got this little cool thing here, which is actually meant to only be a hanger. It just makes it look cool, the little disc, the silicone disc. But if you've got a small closet, say in a camper, or you've got a condo where you need to have something small put away, this is perfect for that telescopic handle so it's going to go up and down depending on how tall you need it to be. It's recommended that if you've got it on the floor that it's at about chin height just to be ergonomically accurate but you know if my kids want to use it I can hoist it down. If I'm getting those windows way up tall or I've got to reach something far away I can make it a lot bigger. This is the small mop pad so you can tell it's a lot smaller. I love this one for the kids' bathroom. I actually keep it in the closet in there because then all I have to do is get the wet mop pad wet and I can easily mop in there. I don't have to run and get my big one. This would be really great for dorm rooms, for cabins, condos, campers, any place where you don't have a lot of space and you're needing to take a mop to clean the floors. Perfect for that. This swizzles all different directions, but if you're trying to reach something up tall, you can pop it in place and it won't go back and forth. It'll only go side to side or back and forth this way. It won't go side to side. And 
this comes off right here. So if you've got the Enviro One handle and you're wanting this to become a handheld device to be able to clean windows up close, or say a glass, sliding glass door, or if you're really one that wants to get on your hands and knees and clean the floor, you could easily get on your hands and knees. Just pop that handle from the Enviro Wand right on there. So those are a couple of the really cool features of the mop. Set this one down. Show you, this is the large one. So you can tell it's significantly bigger. And actually there is an extra large one on sale right now. The only two mop pads that come for the extra large one are the wet and the dry. Although I suspect more are coming. I have not been able to confirm that yet. And unfortunately, the coveted spray mop attachment that is still back ordered. So if you're wanting to be on the list for this, let me know, I will add you to it. I just go down my list anytime that any of these become available. But these are awesome because all you have to do instead of ripping that mop pad off and going and re-wetting it, if you've got a big surface to clean, you just put this at a 90 degree angle. You can use that little disc thing to push down and this is gonna spray out from right here. I like to say it sprays about the width of the large mop and about two feet out. It's gonna spray some water out. So then that way that will automatically re-wet your floors when you're cleaning. And we can't talk about outside without talking about the awesome broom attachment that came. So I keep a whole mop already ready to go for the broom all the time. I love the broom. I wasn't really sure how often I would use it. And I actually ended up earning it for free with some um, other rewards and I couldn't believe how much I actually do use it so I really loved on this side you can see it's got like a squeegee type side this side here is bristles exactly like the rubber brush so you can probably see particles coming out of here I use this in my kitchen a lot I love the squeegee side so that if liquid gets spilled I can easily just run it across the floor and it's gonna collect that. I can toss my kitchen towel down on top of it and instantly it's gonna absorb it up so it cleans up messes really quickly. I spilled a loaded tea and for any of you who know how much I love my loaded teas in the garage recently and although I was very sad that there went my loaded tea, I was easily able to clean it up with this squeegee. I just went out there and pulled the squeegee part across the garage floor got it out onto the driveway and took the hose and, and sprayed it down and it was good to go. No stickiness, no residue left behind. Um, I really like to use this when the kids are playing like kinetic sand or Play-Doh. Let it dry out a little bit and then you can use this to help pull all those particles all in one place. If you've got our entryway mat, you can use the rubber brush, but of course it's a lot smaller or you can use a rubber broom to clean it off because this is gonna get into that microfiber of the entry mat and help pull the hair and grass and crumbs. Other places that this is really good to use is collecting leaves. If you've got a spot that's flat surface and you're trying to get leaves all in one spot, <clears throat> works great for that. If you're trying to, I know this isn't a summer hack, but if you're trying to get snow off your windshield, this is just a giant snow removal tool. And if you're short and you can't reach up tall, you can make the handle longer and you'll be able to pull that snow right off the top of your truck. Um, once again, I know I've talked a lot about campers and lake houses and places like that, but what more perfect place than one tiny handle and the different mop, exchangeable mop pads, you're not having to lug around a huge mop situation to clean your floors when you're traveling, when you're on vacation, when you're wanting to have fun, but yet you might have a mess or two to clean up. So I love the mop. I could talk all night about it, but those are just a few things about the mop that I wanted to pass along to you guys. Check out the posts below, the pictures, the information, because it's lots of great information there too. Thanks guys.